to give you guys a rundown on why I do monthly vision boards versus yearly vision boards. I have never really been one to plan out the entire year because it's just so daunting to me. I don't know what I want for the next 365 days right on January 1st. Thinking about that really stresses me out. So I decided to start doing monthly vision boards. It started this past July when I was preparing for my study abroad trip to Spain. I was just trying to hype myself up for the trip and so I went onto Pinterest and just made a mood board of everything that I wanted to do throughout the rest of the month. I also added pictures of things that I wanted to accomplish like getting a camera which I did in July and I'm proud to say that a lot of the things that I put on my July Pinterest board came true. I continued making monthly vision boards for the rest of the year and while not everything comes true it's still really good to just plan in smaller increments rather than plan the entire year. Throughout the year we're in different seasons of life. For example my goals in January are so much different than my goals in June because during January I am still in the middle of the school year. I'm in the thick of it but come June I'm out of school and so I don't have any academic goals. Another example of this is during the winter there are certain things that I want to accomplish and get done like certain things that I want to do in this city because I do live here but I want to explore the more touristy side of things. So for example on my January vision board I will put ice skating downtown because the rink is open until March but I wouldn't really put that on an August vision board. So we're just in different seasons throughout the year. I want to take that into account which is why I make monthly vision boards because every month looks different. Overall it's just less daunting making monthly vision boards because it's easier to plan for the next 30 days rather than plan for the next 365 and that is why I am more inclined to make monthly vision boards. If you guys want to see my process of making monthly vision boards continue on to the rest of the video. I start off my vision board making process by heading over to my favorite cafe in New Jersey. For me personally, there is something so satisfying about working in a bustling cafe with a nice sweet treat to go with it. First things first, I open up my laptop and I go to the Pinterest homepage. As you can see, my feed right now is very health oriented because that is a stage of my life that I'm in and I'm very interested in taking vitamins and juicing more. I try to be as specific as possible when I'm adding pictures onto the board. So for example, I don't just add a picture of a random juice, I add a picture of a juice that has the ingredients listed in so I know exactly how to replicate this juice. I'm also very picky with my pictures so I'll look them over multiple times to see if I want to use them or not. I'm also cautious of using faceless pictures over ones with people's faces in them just to make them a little more relatable to myself. I actually think it's very important to have your vision boards mirror yourself almost exactly. This might sound weird, but I don't even use pictures that don't have the right skin tone. My goal is to have all the pictures on my vision board look like they can be taken from my point of view. And let me tell you, this works. Here are a few side-by-side -side pictures from my July vision board. As you can see, all the pictures look like they could be taken from my point of view. I'm typically ready to create my collage once I have around 90 to 120 pins. Now, to be clear, I do not use all of these pictures in my vision board collage. It would just be way too much. Instead, I carefully go through all of my pins and I look to find the pictures that I love the most. This is pretty easy to do because a lot of the times I put in quotes or videos inside of my Pinterest board that can't really be added to a collage anyways. After I get my pictures added in, I go onto Canva and I make a screensaver for my phone and then I also make a screensaver for my laptop. But I feel like having a constant reminder of your vision board on your electronics that you use every day is just a good motivator. And since I make monthly vision boards instead of yearly ones, I just feel like it's too much to get a big poster board each month and print out all of these pictures from Walgreens to make a vision board 12 times a year. I personally believe in keeping my vision boards private. I just don't want to jinx anything. However, my Pinterest boards are public. So if you do want to see them, follow my Pinterest. 
when I first make a Pinterest board, I will private it. But after that month has passed, I will unprivate it. All right, guys. So it's Friday the 5th of January. And today I'm flying back to Chicago after being home on winter break for 19 days, I think. School starts next Monday, so it's best that I just go back and have the weekend to myself before it's time to go to class again. Right now we're at Costco. Let me know if you guys recognize this Costco. Only Jersey heads will get it. My flight leaves in about five hours and the airport is probably like an hour hour away from here but we first have to one get gas which is what we're doing now and then two we have to go to Ulta and Best Buy to pick up my new phone this one is finally going away thank god I've had it for too long with each day that goes by with me using this phone it just gets worse So finally, I'm getting another phone. Thank you to my mom and my dad for buying the phone. I got the camera, but they got the phone. So finally, I will be able to use something other than this. This phone is 10 years old, but I was very grateful that I at least had something to hold me over until getting this new phone. So we're going to get it today. And then hopefully we'll make it to Newark Airport on time so that I can fly back to Chicago. getting ready to go to the grocery store because I flew in last night and I don't have any groceries. Yesterday I spent so much money on food guys like I was I usually don't buy food out so I was just very distraught at how much I was spending but granted I was at the airport and then I was flying back home and there was just nothing for me to eat so now I'm up early and I'm ready to go to Trader Joe's. We do have my new phone. She's cute but she has no case and no screen protector so I'm guarding her with my life. I did want to show you guys how I'm planning on eating healthier though for the new year. I'll show you guys again a little bit of my interest board but I just have a few recipes here that I'm really interested in that I'm really interested in trying. Right here you guys see this little chickpea dish and that is one thing that I'm going to specifically get from the grocery store today because I do want to start eating them more. They're a good source of protein and they're really good and there's different ways you can make them. So I'm definitely gonna get chickpeas. I always feel like I eat the same thing especially when I'm at school because I mean grocery money is a little limited and I don't have the time, energy, space to make an elaborate meal every single week. I want to try some different foods and so that is why I put a lot of different recipes on my Pinterest board and that is where I'm going to be drawing the inspiration for my grocery list and figuring out what I need to buy so I'm going to take you guys along with me I promised myself that I was not going to bring my camera outside anymore after it got stolen so we're gonna just film on this iPhone 13 or we're gonna go
The goal of my monthly vision boards is to be able to live out my months little by little. It can be really overwhelming to be tasked with planning out the entirety of the 365 day year or 366. What monthly vision boards do is they help me visualize my year in 12 increments because at the end of the day, my financial, my content, and my academic goals will not be the same throughout the months. For example, in January, I may really want to pass a science class that will have no relevancy in June. This is why I believe in monthly planning.